Lord, we pray for your divine intervention in our lives as we seek deliverance from our enemies. Please give us the strength and courage to conquer our fears. Thank you for being our refuge, strong shield around us, and our protector from all evil. Amen. During our group praise and worship, the music playing was Song of the Beautiful Bride by Paul Wilbur. In vision, I saw coming out of the depths of the very cold North Atlantic Ocean a creature the likes I had never seen. It was horrible, with razor-sharp teeth, black eyes, scales on the outside of its body that appeared to be heavy-duty armor. I was thinking it would be difficult to penetrate that skin and heard the word, Leviathan. I watched from the shore this enormous sea creature rise up and spiral out of the water in a serpentine-like manner and head straight towards me at full speed. When all of a sudden the heavens opened up and there was St. Michael the Archangel with a large tripoint spear. He took the spear and thrust it into the sea beast's head, harpooning him from head to toe, instantly penetrating its extremely thick scales like they were paper thin. The creature was writhing in pain and then suddenly went still. And then I came out of the vision and profusely thanked St. Michael. I asked the Lord what that vision meant, and he smiled and replied, We are saving souls. The group praise and worship is working very effectively, and I am pleased with all of your efforts. It also represented that heaven is standing by to assist you. Please, dear ones, ask for their intercession, and we are all ready and willing to help you when you call out to us. All you need to do is ask. I believe he was speaking of the triune God and Blessed Mother when he said we and us. Jesus continued, I also wanted to confirm that your thoughts about praying against the marine kingdom and evil water spirits are on target as these are prayers that have been grossly overlooked. Satan has made much headway there because my people do not believe this kingdom is real. I assure you, it's very, very real. Just like on land and in the air, evil exists in the waters and must be dealt with and prayed against. The enemy uses my once beautiful creatures to do their bidding in animals and especially mankind and in the deepest depths of the ocean. This reality causes me great pain and heartache. Please, precious ones, pray against these demonic forces in the water and bind the ancestral generational curses that go along with them. The Church has become so infected with the diseases known as complacency and comfort as these are offshoots and results of the Leviathan spirits. As more evil is released on the earth, this wickedness continues to grow and intensify. As the Lord was speaking, I got the sense that we are not getting this. We think that the Marine Kingdom is made up, is fantasy, or is addressed only in animated movies. These evil water spirits continue to ride the tide of generational curses passed down from our ancestors. The enemy's work has been woven into ancient curses that have become even more powerful and stronger today as darkness continues to rage over the whole world. If these generational curses are not dealt with, broken off and permanently severed, then they will multiply and grow stronger with each passing generation. By the way, the twelve characteristics of a Leviathan spirit is prideful because of past rejection or trauma. The spirit of pride offers people a false sense of identity and power. Its chief job is to block deliverance, and this sickness has infiltrated the church by causing ministers to refuse to open up to the ministry of deliverance. 
These ministers are being controlled by a Leviathan spirit. The Leviathan spirit twists the truth, breaks covenants, severs our relationship with God, is stiff-necked, hard-hearted, and cold-hearted, blocks communication with the Holy Spirit, is proud, arrogant, haunty, whispers lies, is contentious, lifts up leaders to destroy them, is depression, blame, and self-pity. First thing in the morning, I pray two prayers to Archangel St. Michael, one of which is, St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle, be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl around the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. God bless you, dear heart dwellers, and may the Lord direct and guide you in all things.